Today's Arduino tutorial is going to be mainly a software tutorial. You're not even going to see the Arduino board, but we're going to talk about communications uh, to and from the Arduino board through USB. Uh, and uh, first thing we're going to do is open up your Arduino software, go up to File, Examples, and then go down to Communications, and you'll find one called Serial Call Response ASCII, ASCII. So open that up. This is what it looks like. It's very well commented, but we're going to go over it today. And uh, first things at the top of the script here is we're creating some variables. Uh, we got first sensor, second sensor, sensor, third sensor. We're setting them all to zero for now. And invite, which is also set to zero. And we're going to give them other values here in just a little bit. Then our script's going to run our void setup function. So this is the first thing that's, that the script is actually going to run. And what it's going to do is it's going to create, it's going to begin serial communications at a baud rate of 60, uh, 96,000. Uh, you can do different rates, uh, but that's an important number to know because when you connect to your Arduino with your computer, you have to connect at the right baud rate or uh, you'll get gibberish on the screen because it won't be communicating properly. Here we're creating a uh, digital sensor at pin 2. It's an input. And we're going to establish connection. Establish connection is a function that we actually created down here. So let's jump down here to our establish connection function. So after our void setup, that's going to be the next thing that runs. And it's a while loop. So it's going to loop as long as this is true. And what this is saying is as long as there's a serial connection available and there's no input coming from the computer. So you're connected, but the computer hasn't sent a message to the Arduino board yet. What it's going to do is it's going to serial print a line and the line's going to print as 0, 0, 0. And it will do that uh, loop forever with a delay of uh, just under a third of a second. So three to four times a second that will be outputted on our screen until it receives communication from our computer. To see what that looks like, let's uh, run it. We'll compile our script here by pressing our play button up here and then we'll upload it to the board. Once it says done uploading, there we go. We can now click this serial monitor box here. This will open up a serial monitor and connect to our Arduino board, which is at device TTY USB 0 on the Linux machine, maybe different on uh, different operating systems. Um, and as you can see, it's just looping new lines of 0, 0, 0 all the way up. And you can see right here is our, our baud rate. I don't know why I'm having trouble saying that. Baud rate. Um, and just make sure that's the same as what you put in your code there. And uh, at this point, I'm going to close that, and I'm going to show, go on with our script. So this, that's what it's going to loop until it gets communication from the computer. Once it does that, it's going to break out of that and then begin our, our main loop, so our void loop up here. And what it's going to do is it's going to do another if-then statement. And it's going to say if serial connection is available, but this time if it's greater than zero, meaning that we do get communication from the computer, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to create, or we've already created, but we're going to assign our four variables that we created earlier uh, values. So in byte equals serial read, so that's reading from the serial device, and then we're going to get our analog read and actually divide it up into three different sections. First, analog read, and we're reading the first of four. Delay for uh, 10 milliseconds here. And then we got uh, second sensor, analog read, the second part of that, so one of four, and our third sensor, which is actually going to be our uh, mapping of our digital read. And as you can see, it's I'm not even going to explain that because I don't completely understand it myself. Anyway, um, at that point, so it's grabbing characters being sent to it uh, from the computer, and we're going to print a line. We're going to print a character, and we're going to grab our first sensor, and this DEC here for DEC basically is converting it from a binary uh, output into a readable output, which is our ASCII key, which is basically each key on your keyboard is assigned a numeric value. And that's, that's re decoding that, if you will, for us to make it easier for us to read, make it more human readable. So it's going to take the first part of the character we sent and it's going to divide it by a comma some more information from that character we sent, comma, third. And you'll notice that this last serial print here has serial print LN, and that's the same that we had down here. And that means 
new lines. So it's going to print all this stuff on one line and then create a new line at this point after it di displays this. So let's run that now. Uh, we've already uploaded to our board, so let's open up our serial monitor. We're getting our zeros here. Now I'm going to hit a key like F and I'm going to hit send. And you can see that we got output back from it based on the key we sent. So if we hit three different characters, we should get three lines of output different for each key because basically it's just echoing back to us what we send to it just in a different format. Um, so that's a quick look at serial communications through uh, to the Arduino through USB in the Arduino environment. But I'd like to quickly show you, there's a few different ways to do this, but to communicate from your command prompt. So if you're at another Linux machine and you don't have the Arduino software installed, luckily the Arduino drivers are built into the Linux kernel nowadays. So any Linux machine, you should be able to plug in our Arduino board and communicate with it without having to install anything special. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up a terminal window. And what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the screen command, which is normally used to throw stuff in the background as background processes. We're going to use it and we're going to say screen device TTY USB 0, uh, which once again, you know that's what it is because you set it uh, up here when you uh, select your serial port you're going to be putting in whatever that says there. So it may vary from system to system if you have multiple USB devices that have serial communications. This might be USB 1 or 2. And on a Mac, uh, you could probably do this, but it's going to be in a different location. Uh, it's not going to be under devices. I, I'm pretty sure Mac keeps it in a different place. But basically, once you know where your Arduino board is, you can communicate to it this way. And after that, we just put in our baud rate, 9600. We hit enter, and you can see we're getting output. I can hit my G key. I don't even have to hit enter in this case. I can just start hitting keys and you can see I'm getting output from them. And uh, that is one way to communicate with the Arduino board through the terminal if you just need to do it quickly or you just set in, you've already designed your board. You don't need to program anymore and you design it to work on a Unix based system. Ta da! That's how you do it without the Arduino software installed. Uh, the only thing about doing it this way and there might be a better way to do this, is that I don't know how to kill the screen session other than open up another terminal window, PSUX, uh, which I've told you in the past, is basically your system monitor tells you all your processes that are running. And you can see right here you got screen running, and I can just kill that process ID, and it kills that. Because if you actually just close this terminal window, it'll keep running in the background. Uh, so you can't just close it like that, or else you try to connect to it again, and it will say it's busy. So... That is a quick look at serial communications with your Arduino board. We're going to do a lot more fun stuff with this in the future. Keep watching. Thank you, and have a great day. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.